Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. Keep in mind this reading is for any Taurus placement you want to check in on, including any planet or astrological house that may be in Taurus. Whatever it is, you are welcome here. Taurus is also keep in mind if you do enjoy the message, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, or subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. So the first card we have here in the center is where am I with my health goals? Where do I want to be? Why am I not there? What will it take for me to feel well? Okay, some of you guys could have health on your mind this week. Let's see what's on the back of the card. It says, if my body could talk, it would say blank. Feed your body what it needs to feel nourished, appreciated, and loved. Make some new exciting goals to take your health to the next level. Okay. All right, Tauruses. Um, fill in the blank there. Whatever your body is trying to tell you, you need to listen to it. Let's get into these other cards and see what you need to know. Hey, we have Capricorn. Okay, your fellow Earth sign. Now, Capricorns rule the knees. Um, someone may have some issues with their knees or their legs in general. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so if that is you, this may resonate for you um, much, much more. Let's see what else we have. We have the fifth house of passion. Okay, this is the house of performance, entertainment, creativity, play, um, pleasure, parties, children, romance. Okay, fun. Fun, 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 fun. How can you make achieving your health goals more fun. Can you do this in a group setting? Can you take group classes? Can you go on group hikes? Can you, you know, get with a group of people that um, don't make this feel like a chore? Does that make sense? That's what I'm getting with that card. Let's take a look at some of these, these last two cards. We have take risk and we have a goat on this card too. Some of you guys may have some strong Capricorn energy in your chart. Hmm. Okay take risks do something different do something fun do something unique okay what does this last card say it says higher perspective okay <laughs> yeah some of you guys may be stuck in like a very limited view of how to address your health concerns okay like I said some of you guys may need to break out of like a routine do something different do something risky um maybe something you've always wanted to try but were too scared to do or didn't think it would be a good fit for you whatever the case is um, but it feels like in order for you to get serious about your health, you need to do a little bit of exploring, get a little creative, do something a little different. Okay. Um, and it's not honestly, I'm also hearing for some of you, it's not just fixing a singular issue. It's about, you know, improving the quality of your, your whole body, um, for the rest of your life. So this is not something that you're just fixing for the for the time right now. It's for something that's going to last a lifetime, a lifetime for you, excuse me. Okay. Interesting. Some of you may have Capricorn in the 5th house. So you may struggle with this having fun business. Capricorns are all about the business. All right, let's get into the tarot and see what you guys need to know. Spiritual team, what messages do you have for my Tauruses for the next seven days? What messages do you have for my Tauruses for the next seven days? I almost called you guys Capricorns <laughs> when I was doing that. Oh, I had to catch myself. All right, let's get into these cards. What do we have? Five of coins reversed. Justice. Okay, the emperor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, the empress. King of Swords reversed. What's at the bottom of the deck? Two of Wands. The Hanged Man. Six of Cups reversed. Queen of Cups. Four of Swords. All right. Let's see what's going on here. So we have a pair. We have the Emperor and the Empress. So not only finding balance between the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine within ourselves, but also combining, um, because you guys are ruled by Venus and the Empress, um, I feel like this is a combination of like not only what you eat, 
but exercise as well how you do both because we have the emperor here um this feels like also with the emperor taking charge of things that maybe um you've had significant issues with in the past okay um mm -mm -mm -mm. this also may be you huh uh -huh. Okay, some of you guys may be having a hard time with forgiving yourself of things that you did for your health in the past. It's time to let that go and it's time to learn from that and take that and turn it into um, an achievable regimen for you guys, right? But um, what I'm also seeing here between the Emperor and the Empress is like you can have a really structured like set schedule or way of doing things, but you also may need to make it fun. And I feel like I said that with the fifth house, but with the Empress being here, the Empress is all about beauty and ease and it should not feel difficult. It should feel fun. It should make you feel gorgeous and glowy at the end of it. Like you should feel happy at the end of it. <laughs> you should not feel like this is a chore. It is to a degree, but there needs to be a, a significant balance brought to your health goals here. Okay, so do something different. I don't know, like take a pole class. I love pole dancing. I don't, I don't think I've shared that on YouTube, but I love pole dancing. It is so much fun and it brings out the divine feminine in me that I don't normally like show a whole lot. I tend to sit in my, like between my masculine and my divine feminine. Um, sometimes I lean a little bit more into my divine masculine but I absolutely love the way that pole dancing makes me feel it just makes me feel so sexy and alive and like I'm having fun and it doesn't feel like I'm working out either that's what I love about doing classes like that it does not feel like I'm working out but something that keeps me engaged and it makes me feel really good about not only myself externally, but internally as well. So I don't know, maybe there is something like that that you can find that makes you feel really good and also feels really fun for you to do. Maybe in a group setting, like I said before. Um, but let's take a look at some of these other cards here. I feel like some of you guys may have just come out of surgery or some sort of like significant health crisis. Does that make sense? Some of you guys may have been in the hospital for a while or you guys have been, maybe have been put on like a really strict like bed rest situation or like a really strict diet or a really strict medication regimen, whatever it is. It feels like you guys are coming out of that, which is great. I'd love to see that. This was a struggle for you. Now that you are out of the situation, you have an opportunity to basically create and craft a regimen for yourself, which is what we're talking about here, right? So that's that two of wands energy. Now, again, it's coming back to the creating balance and looking at things from a different perspective, a higher perspective here with the hanged man. What can I do that I can maintain for a long time instead of something that's only going to get me short-term results or only give me short-term satisfaction? How can I turn this into something that I will feel, um, you know, called to do for the rest of my life? Again, I think it's that balance between regimen and fun. It's finding that good in between. Another thing I will tell you, Taurus, is I have never had a gym membership in my life. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making this all about me, but I'm trying to like just show different ways of doing things. The reason why I've never had a gym membership is because I feel like, well, A, I don't really know what to do at the gym, and B, there's something so boring about sitting in front of a machine and doing the same thing over and over again for like 15 minutes. There's something about that that just screams, I don't want to do that. <laughs> like how boring. So for me, like going to a gym is not necessarily like an option for me. It's not something I can stay regimented and doing for a long time. It's not something I can maintain for a long time because it just doesn't interest, interest me. It doesn't keep me engaged. And something I told someone else a long time ago, I'm like, when we think about our ancestors, they didn't have gyms. Like the way they got their exercise was going out and hunting or going out and foraging and being outdoors and doing just regular everyday activities that would activate all of their muscles at once. And like, it, it feels weird to me to sit there at a gym and just isolate your traps or your calves or your whatever for 15 minutes. I'm like, it just doesn't feel natural to me. So maybe you guys struggle with that as well. Um, maybe there's, there's a combination of things that you just 
you know, that just doesn't fit the typical norm for how you want to maintain your health. And maybe there's something more fun out there. Maybe there are different options out there for you that can help bring together the perfect regimen and routine for you guys, right? Yeah, I feel like with the Queen of Cups, the Four of Swords, the King of Swords reversed, it feels like this is whatever you decide to do, this has to be something that you feel like emotionally connected to. It has to be fun. It has to be something that pulls you in on a soul level and something that you shouldn't have to like overthink, right? Because with the King of Swords in reversed, it feels like you guys are overthinking this. Like you, you're like, I have to do this and I have to do that and I have to do this, but it's not fun. It's not bringing you joy when you do it. It's just, it feels like a chore, like I said earlier. The Four of Swords is telling me it's like you should not have to think about it. You should not have to think about what, you know, what you need to do. It's just, it should feel easy to you. You shouldn't even, again, like I said, you shouldn't even have to think about this. It shouldn't be this huge overthought thing. It should just, it should feel a little easy and it should feel like something you want to do. Does that make sense? So Tauruses, overall, it feels like when it comes to your health, you need to find some a way to combine that disciplined, regimented, you know, routine with something fun that makes you feel good, maybe opens up more of that divine feminine part of yourself or that inner child part of yourself and feels makes it feel easy, like you're not trying too hard to get this done, right? I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the Oracle deck section of the reading. I am using the African Goddess Rising Oracle this month. Spiritual team, what final messages do you have for my Tauruses for the next seven days? What final messages do you have for my Tauruses for the next seven days? Let's see. What do they need to know? I feel like I told them everything, but they may just want an extra couple cards to look at. <laughs> just messing. All right, we have Abul Nimba, and it says Harvest. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you want to get the most out of whatever it is that you put into this, right? So you want to make sure the results are equal to the effort that you put in, right? And it shouldn't feel like you're doing the same thing over and over and over again for either literal results or slow progress or just not the type of results that you want. Does that make sense? It feels like you guys want to be able to have your cake and eat it too. And I believe, Taurus, is that you should have that as well, especially when it comes to having fun with, you know, keeping up your health, right? All right, we also have Queen Ya Asantua. Level up. Yeah, so again, the Emperor card here does tell me you guys are taking charge of your health. You are taking action of your health. And I think by taking it to the next level in terms of like, yeah, we go to the gym and yeah, we eat certain foods, but maybe it's like finding a couple new recipes that you really love or like getting creative in the kitchen or like I said getting creative with your workouts like just doing something unique and different so it doesn't feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again it keeps it interesting keeps you engaged and keeps you also um keeps your progress at a level that you want because I feel like a lot of people will tell you this too at the gym like trainers will tell you Sometimes you do end up peaking if you do the same thing over and over and over again. And that's where people get frustrated. And that's why you have to change things up a little bit. All right, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Queen, Mother, Nanny. Liberation. Free yourself from that sticky, old, dusty routine. <laughs> and do something different. Something that makes you feel free and like you are having fun and actually enjoying yourself. All right, Tauruses, that is what I'm seeing for you guys this week. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. If you want to see more content from me, I am on Instagram, TikTok, I have a blog. All that info on where to find me is below in the description box, as is my website if you want to schedule a personal reading. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!